everyone! In today's tutorial together we are going to make a pop-up on button click. I don't have to mention that it is going to be super easy, so just be attentive, let's go! Okay, so first let's understand what is pop-up. So pop-up is that thing jumping on your computer screen out of nowhere and the usage of pop-ups is nearly as wide as your imagination. However, there is a common stereotype around pop-ups saying that they are only good for collecting emails and I don't really think so personally and in today's video we are not only going to make a pop-up on button click but also we are going to break the stereotypes together and prove that pop-ups are in fact effective machines in the hands of anyone who knows how to control them. In this tutorial I'll be using a WordPress plugin called Pop-up Box and I recommend this because it is especially beginner friendly and mobile friendly which is a great asset and throughout the creating process I got the best user experience so you should install it and try it out as well. So after installing and activating the plugin you will see its icon on WordPress dashboard and when you enter this is the general page. Click on enable pop-up to start creating. So the first field is pop-up title. In my case it would be do you prefer healthy food or junk food. After comes the shortcut field, here you can copy and pass the shortcuts from other plugins and this is used when you want to make pop-ups based on quizzes, polls and in order to create a pop-up based on a question answer principle, you must make a poll, it can be via any plugin, for example poll maker. Then you have to copy the shortcut, pass it in the shortcut field and after successfully inserting the code into your pop-up, you can write your pop-up description if you find it necessary. For example, I'm going to skip mine. And then you have to choose the page it, pages it is going to pop up on. It can pop up on all pages, on one page or selected ones. The pop-up trigger button is for choosing the way your pop-up appears. It can be on the page load, also known as the out of nowhere type, on click which we are making in this tutorial and you can also combine. For making a on click pop-up you have to work with CSS selector, this is trigger for clicking and this step is unskippable, so pay close attention to it. To work with CSS selector, you must firstly know what it is. So if you're a developer or you are familiar with basic CSS rules, you can skip this part, but if you are a beginner, keep watching. So to put it easy, CSS selector is an element that dictates which HTML element is going to be styled or select it. So in order to make your pop-up on click, you must give the value of your button in the mentioned field, which is CSS selector. For that, you must target a button and insert its class into the mentioned field. And this is how you do that. So follow the steps. Press on left click going to your button that you are going to use and click on inspect. From the open bar, find the class of your button, copy everything inside quotation marks, paste it in the CSS selector field, adding a period before the name, and voila, your trigger is ready to go. So pop-up settings. Looking at the settings of pop-up box, you can see what I meant by saying that it's fully customizable. There are many setting options, however, I'm going to speak about some of them, which are of more importance. By statistics, on average, people send at least 7 seconds on any site they enter. So, the opportunity that you will capture someone's attention is higher when it appears after 5 seconds. Now, you will think that I have forgotten that we are making a pop-up on click, but no. In this case, you have to make the on-click button 
really appealing. It have to capture attention within those several seconds. And the last thing is pop-up styles. There is not much to say about pop-up styles. You have to work your imagination here. However, there are some tips such as your pop-up must correspond to the message that it is delivering. I think that it's obvious. Also, try to brand your pop-up so that it doesn't look alien on your website. Also, pop-up boxes style settings will give you full support and help you to create an eye-catching pop-up. And here is the final result. That's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed the process. Do not forget to subscribe, hit your notification bell. See you soon. Bye!